Welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365. And in this session, I'm going to help you to understand about the work of alias and mail forwarding. As we know that most of organization prefer to use Office 365 portal to manage our mailing services. So let's move ourselves to portal of Office 365 and try to understand about the usage of uh, alias and mail forwardings. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe Teach Me Cloud because the Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So let me explain you about the usage of alias first and we'll also discuss about the mail forwarding. For example, this is our Office 365 portal, right? You know that anyone can sign up ourselves over our Office 365 portal. It's a SAS based cloud provider or SAS based cloud platform where we can sign up ourselves using our email ID and mobile number and just need to purchase one license and start using the services of Office 365. Over Office 365, we have n number of options like as we are able to create user, we can create multiple groups, we can custom our own domain, right? We can set up our mailboxes as well. In our user's property, we have one option called alias. And the another option is mail forwarding, right? So as a email engineer, as a Office 365 engineer or expert, it's our responsibility we should know about the usage of these two important services. The first one is LES, why we need to use it and another is mail forwarding. So I'm going to guide you about practical means I'm going to help you to understand about the practical usage of uh, LES and mail forwarding. Let's start from the LES. As per the name suggest, you can also consider it as a duplicate name. For example, I'm going to create one user with name of abc at the rate on microsoft.com right abc on microsoft.com this is our primary mail id right on microsoft.com is our default uh, domain name which is provided by microsoft by self and we wanted to use one more name we wanted to add one duplicate name called alias so question is why we need to set up a alias for any user. So basically alias is considered as a duplicate name that we can use to distribute that we can use to share our email ID to our external client. Basically if you don't want to share information about your primary email due to reason of security you don't want to entertain our external user you don't want to share information about your primary user, then you can create a one alias. You can create a one duplicate name like as uh, test at on microsoft.com, right? So if any external user want to message you, so they should send the email to test at the rate on microsoft.com and you will receive the email of our external user to abc at the rate on microsoft.com right it means that it is applicable to just access the email just uh, receive the email we don't have rights we don't have a uh, uh, authority to log in our office 365 portal using test at the rate on my on microsoft.com means we are unable to send our uh, uh, we are unable to send any email with the help of alias name let me guide you about how to create an alias and uh, also give you the procedure to use the alias in real environment right now we are on page of our office 365 portal this is the microsoft 365 admin center you just need to click on users active user I'm going to create, although I have already created multiple users, see, we are able to find n number of users are available. 
let me select our gcp this is our gcp user i'm going to assign one license uh, f3 license which is a free trial license we have already discussed about the usage of f3 license this is our primary user account gcp open it and in the properties of our gcp user we are able to find n number of options account devices licenses and application email means mail and one drive so our responsibility to manage the alias let me click on account under the account we are able to find multiple options are available right In the users of our, in the properties of our user, in account panel, we are able to find manage username and email ID, right? So this is considered as a alias. I'm going to set up one more name. This is our primary mail ID that you use to assign the licenses. I'm going to create another mail address, which is considered as a alias test at the rate itbd dot on Microsoft dot com. I'm just going to add it. and save the configuration let me create one more user for the testing purpose let's click add user i'm going to create one more user with name of tata okay this is our username display name is also tata and login name tata at the rate uh, itbd 764 something i wanted to configure my own password I don't want to make any changes means I don't want to authorize to change our user on uh, change our user password to on first login next proceed with the license I'm going to assign the license of F3 next and finish so think about as per the agenda that we discussed right now we have a three different email id right the first one is tata at the rate on microsoft.com right this is one mail id that we have already assigned the license of f3 second email that we created gcp at on microsoft.com correct and third this is both are our primary mail id primary tata is a primary mail id gcp is also a primary email id and number third is test at on microsoft.com correct but test is a type of alias now our responsibility to send a email to test user and you will get the email in the inbox of gcp at the rate on microsoft.com so what you need to do open incognito wizard i'm going to log in with the tata user first and we'll also log in through the gcp portal.office.com this is the url that you can use to log in your office 365 account tata at the rate okay and uh, we'll log in our gcp user as well because we want to check the practical fine we successfully log in our tata user and what i'm going to do i'm just going to open office 365 means outlook page we have already assigned the license so you are able to use the office 365 email means outlook inbox Meanwhile let me open another incognito wizard I'm going to use an open another page portal.office.com and type gcp at the rate of itbd 764.on we successfully proceeded to log in our both user means tata and gcp 
and we have a one more user with name of uh, test at the rate something but unfortunately test is a type of alias we haven't assigned any uh, mailbox to our test user because we don't have rights microsoft never suggest never support to assign the licenses to our alias right so you are unable to log in our office 365 user through the test but if anyone if any external user like tata is our external user want to send want to send a mail to test user so you just need to type test at the rate itbd 764.onmicrosoft.com right now type the name of uh, subject this is this is test mail for alias right so i'm just going to click send back to our gcp user open outlook now we are able to find one email uh, in inbox of our gcp user although we send the mail to test at the rate something so as we discussed if you don't want to distribute if you don't want to share your personal information or primary mail id to any external user so that time you need to create one alias a duplicate name of our mail id and share with your client or share with your external user i hope you understand about the usage of alias second important point is related to you can say that mail forwarding so as per the name suggest if we talk about the mail forwarding for example tata is our user one right and we have another user with name of gcp user two and one more user we created for example telnet now you want to set up a mail forwarding for gcp you want to set a mail forwarding feature to our gcp user so whenever anyone send the mail to gcp it will be transferred the same email to next user that you configured in mail forwarding correct this is the actual concept of mail forwarding you just need to bypass the message from your user to another office 365 user account in real environment we can use it to uh, in case of your employees on leave so you just need to set up a forwarding mail forwarding then entire mail will be bypassed to another user guys this is the basic information about alias and mail forwarding uh, i have a task for you so mail forwarding activity that you need to perform by self and let me know by a connect uh, comment thank you guys this is for all uh, this is for this is all for this video i hope you understand about the concept of alias and mail forwarding if you have any question or doubt please drop a comment and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys bye bye